Vietnam retained its position as South Korea's third largest trading partner for the second consecutive year in 2023 after China and the United States, once again exceeding Japan in trade volume. 네, 베트남이 지난해 우리나라와의 교역 규모에서 중국과 미국에 이어 2년 연속으로 일본을 제치고 3위에 올랐습니다. So when it comes to trade partners, we have China, the US, not Japan, but Vietnam. Yes, uh, for the for the second second consecutive year, I should say that figures are down, but it's still the third biggest trading partner. Mm. Uh, we have the data from the Korea International Trade Association. Um, exports to Vietnam came to 53.49 billion dollars last year. Mm -hmm. Imports from Vietnam to Korea were 25.94 billion dollars and that means we have a trade surplus of 27.5 billion dollars. That's quite a lot of trading going on. Um, however, that was shrinking from the previous year, from 2022, declining by about 12.3 percent when it comes to exports to Vietnam, 2.9 percent imports into Korea, and so the trade surplus shrank by 19.5 percent. Mm. But still, there's a trade surplus. It's a yeah. it's a really good thing. I did not know that Vietnam was the third largest trading partner. Yeah. But here we here we have it's uh, it's quite incredible. So the trade uh, volume is about seventy nine point four billion dollars. That's about thirty percent of the equivalent trade with China and forty two percent for the U S. So it's a lot mm. of trade going on here. Um, Japan, well, I mean, it's still trading with Korea, but it's dropped beneath Vietnam. Yeah, overall trade with Vietnam was $79 billion, roughly, as yes. you said. But Japan, $76 billion. So, yeah, uh, Vietnam is ahead. And that is surprising, as you said. But uh, it's been two consecutive years. Uh, you mentioned trade surplus. The opposite would obviously be a trade deficit. deficit. Yep, and you often use the term to post a trade surplus or you could say record a trade surplus. Yeah, there are lots of ways to say it. And if you're if you're a fan of economic news and you read it in English, you'll 음. see a lot of different variations. 네, 그렇습니다. 무역수지 흑자 그리고 무역수지 적자라는 표현과 더불어서 동사도 사실 굉장히 다양하게 쓸수 있는데요. 네. 이것을 기록했다라는 뜻의 post 여기서 설명을 해주셨습니다. 자, 그러면은 베트남이 이렇게 여전히 2년째 3위를 유지하고 있다라는 표현부터 볼게요. Yes, it retained its position, meaning mm. it kept it. Yes. If you retain something, you mm. keep it to yourself. You, mm. you hang on to it. Uh, so we can talk about it in terms of an item. We can talk about it in terms of position, in terms of clients or contracts. It just means uh, we're keeping hold of whatever it is. 네. 자, retain A라고 하면 은요 A라는 것을 내가 계속해서 붙잡고 있다는 뜻입니다. 네. 그래서 Vietnam retained its position. 이 위치, 3위라는 자리를 여전히 꽉 붙잡고 있다. 비슷하지만 다른 표현, remain이 있어요. 음. 자, 그때 remain B라고 하면 은 B라는 상태를 유지하고 있다는 겁니다. 네, 무언가 내 붙잡고 있는 게 아니고요. 네. 그러니까 만약에 Vietnam remained라고 하고 싶으면 Uh, Vietnam remained the third largest trading partner. Exactly. 가야 돼요. 네. Whereas retained here feels more active. It feels like Vietnam you is working to be to that partner. Yes. That's right. Okay, so retain got remain이 한 글자 차이긴 하지만 사용하는 방법이 좀 다릅니다. 자 여기서는 Vietnam retained its position. 그 다음으로 trading partner. Yes, trading partner is a term we often use for countries, but it can be for companies or even individuals, I suppose. Sure. It's the country or the group or the individual that you're continually trading with, buying and selling, um, not just one time, mm -hmm. not infrequently. We're talking about on a regular basis. That's right. Trading, 무역을 하는 파트너니까요. 무역 상대국, 교역국이 되겠죠. 이 파트너라는 단어를 또 언제 많이 쓰냐면 재밌는 표현이 있는데요. Partner in crime이라는 표현이 So you get us in trouble. <웃음> 이게 굉장히 재밌는 표현이에요. 왜냐하면은 이 원래 의미는 범죄를 같이 하는 사람이지만 그 의미를 비유적으로 그냥 같이 일하는 사람 나랑 굉장히 잘 맞는 쿵짝이 맞는 사람이라는 yeah. 뜻으로 casually 하게 써요. Yeah, the perfect example I can think of on, e on EBS is uh, Kristen and Cameron are the 음. perfect partners in crime 아, for Power English. 그러니까 이게 굉장히 <웃음> 재미있게 쓰는 표현이거든요. 네. 조킹하는 느낌이 있기 때문에 둘이 쿵짝이 너무 잘 맞고 음. 그다음에 농담도 잘 주고받고 이럴 때 
And they are partners in crime. Yeah, because it feels like they're a little bit naughty. Yes, and, yes. But they're, they're having yeah, lots of fun. So, yeah, it's a, it's a very cute term to use. Yeah. So if you have a best friend mm. you're always hanging out, maybe you get a bit silly with, mm-hmm. or you go drinking or go to the Norebang together, you could say, they're my partner in crime. 맞아요. 저희 방송 바로 아, 전에 크리스틴하고 카멘 선생님이 같이 방송을 하시잖아요. 근데 저도 들을 때마다 아, 어쩜 이렇게 재밌게 끼끼깔깔 웃으면서 네. 방송을 하실까. 근데 방송 외에도 너무나 너무나 사이가 좋고 둘이 진짜 그렇게 뭐라 그래야 되지? 이, 이 대화가 너무 잘 맞더라고요. Yeah, they're really good 음, friends. 그래서 저는 그 보면서 와, 이 조합 진짜 어, 생각하신 PD분 너무 대단하시다. 라는 네. 생각이 좀 들었어요. <웃음> <웃음> 어, 우리가 지금 이렇게 긴 시간 동안 크리스틴 선생님과 캐머런 선생님 얘기하는 걸 알고 계실까? 좀 이따 연락 한번 해봐야겠네요. I did it. Partners in crime. 그래서 파트너라는 단어가 또 이렇게 또 쓰인다. 알아두시면 될것 같아요. 자, 다시 한번 읽어보겠습니다. Vietnam retained its position as South Korea's third largest trading partner for the second consecutive year in 2023 after China and the United States, once again exceeding Japan in trade volume. Now let's move on to the next headline.